What is up my fellow humans, Andy Valentine here, and as a professional 3D model maker, the question that I easily get asked the most is, as a newbie, which should I learn first? And usually it's a choice between Fusion 360 and Blender. Well, the answer is, really, it depends. So let's have a look at the pros and cons of each. Fusion is great if you have any history in 2D vector-based design, in something like Illustrator, as fundamentally you use it to draw shapes, give them depth, or as we like to say on my streams, give it a little girth, <laughs> and, then, uh, and then add and cut pieces away in an engineering type fashion. It's awesome for creating very specific tolerances, so if you want to create interlocking parts, and if you need to test load and strain or see how pieces move in relation to one another. Also, the rendering engine is pretty decent and it'll probably be more than enough for most of you who just want an idea of what your model will look like when you've printed it. Where it tends to fall down is organic shape construction. Yes, there's an inbuilt mesh editor outside of pushing and pulling vertices, edges and faces. It lacks a lot of the more advanced sculpting tools that you get in something like ZBrush or Blender. But because it is so specific to a single problem, making awesome engineering type builds, it's pretty easy to pick up and the UI is intuitive enough to handhold you really well through those initial learning stages. Blender, on the other hand, is a whole different ball game. If you want to sculpt organic shapes, you can do it. If you want very precise mesh editing, you can do it. Hell, if you want to rig up your model to some animatronic skeleton and render it marching down some street that you've created, you can totally do that too. It's an incredibly powerful tool with tons of features and capabilities, but because of this, the learning curve is significantly higher. Making your first model will likely take a fair bit longer as you learn all the commands, the different shortcuts and hotkeys, and how all the viewports work alongside one another. That being said, if you're starting from scratch and you put a year of learning into Fusion and a year of learning into Blender, I expect the models that you would be making in Blender in the end will come out better looking and probably take you less time to build. It's just that that initial learning phase is a significantly higher hurdle to jump. I guess what it boils down to is how much time do you want to invest into 3D modeling and what kind of models do you want to create? If it's the odd accessory or small prop that you're going to add to your cosplay and you don't want to spend loads of time learning how to do it, then personally, I'd recommend starting with Fusion. If you see a lot of modeling in your future and you'd like to turn it into a career as a model maker, either in props or maybe in the gaming industry or something like that, then Blender is a really solid choice, especially for a free application. Though, if you are chasing dreams of being in the games industry, maybe check out applications like ZBrush, which is an incredibly powerful sculpting tool, it's pretty much industry standard, and something like Substance Painter, which allows you to apply really cool paintings and textures to 3D models and make incredible renders. Ultimately, it's gonna come down to personal choice and preference, which one you get on with the most. They both have their pros and their cons, and hopefully this is a nice little insight that'll help you see the main differences between the two. As always, if you have any questions or you need to know which one's best for specific requirements, or you just want some general information, either pop a question in the comments or hit me up directly and I'll do my best to answer you. Otherwise, I'm gonna be doing a deep dive into both of those applications in the near future, looking at some of their individual features and what they're best for. So make sure you come back for those. Take it easy, y'all, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.